need to do is you've got to zero return the machine so zero return the machine switch it to zero return yep and then obviously do your X first so press and hold both buttons yeah and that'll take your X back zero turn your X you can put your wrap it up a bit oh it is up yeah it'll do the Z a lot quicker I think once it hits the deceleration you can take your fingers off so it'll carry on on its own yeah and then both your lights will come on when it gets uh, just there okay so to use machine lock you flick the machine lock switch but you have to pull it out that's it and that that makes it work okay so if you now press the graphics key you'll see uh, GRPH and um, that's the screen with the graphics okay so now we can run that program and it should show up on the graphics so if you um, if you just switch it to auto yeah when you press program now prog p-r-o-g that's displaying your program and your graphics key is switching you back to your graphics switch back to your graphics yeah and then if i can just stand over here what will happen then is if you now press your cycle start it can start running but be very careful because obviously you've got to have machine lock on otherwise it will run the program so it's and it does take a while if you put this potentiometer up then it will run quicker as we discovered yesterday and then you'll see that come in it's not it's not great graphics I'll put a big clearance on that drill and you'll see it backs right off but I don't know whether that will be any good in actual program that's your boring bar and that's going to be quite tight when it goes down there but we'll see and then this is your finishing tool there and the way that you can scale this up if you want to just let it do that part off what you do is if you just press that zoom button see where it says zoom yeah and then if you click area where it says area you've got like two cursors a high, a high cursor and a lower one so if you move that one down to the point that you, the, the, the top right hand point of what you want to see and then move this one to the sort of bottom so it's going to make a square around those two cursors okay and when I execute that okay it's altered the scale so then when you run it again you'll see you'll be able to see in more detail that bit of a chamfer you know what I mean there you go and that's the chamfer see you can blow it up even more if you want but it's not the uh, it's not the greatest of graphics and at any point while you're running you should be able to clear it so if you go um, graph erase it'll carry on but you'll be able to see what's going on so if I want to see that finishing tool when it goes around I've cleared the path up to here if you see what I mean and there it is 